Welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to cover creating polls. What I'm going to do is create all of our different poll types, and then I'm going to present them and show you what it looks like from the attendee point of view. Now, what you see is I'm currently in a Zeeting. And anytime you want to add content to your Zeeting, you choose this Add Content button or this plus sign. So, polls are a part of content. Let's click on this and look at the different options. Now, we have all these different options that we can add to our Zeeting, but since we're talking about polls today, let's go with create a poll. Zeetings has five different polling types. So thumbs up, thumbs down, multiple choice, scale poll, rank poll, and our text poll. Let's start by creating a thumbs up, thumbs down poll. Now, this poll is great to get a sense of where your audience stands on a particular topic. For example, will driverless cars be the only vehicles on the road in 10 years ah, time. Great, so you'll see that there's our the box where we can type in our question and then down here we have our answer option. So let's go with yes, of course, and no way. Great, so we have our question there. Now down here you'll see that we have the different options to apply to our poll. This is part of our premium packages. So first things first, you can change the background color. You can either enter in your hex code or you can click on this and choose one of these colors we have down here. So I'm going to go with a nice space gray. And then you'll see that we have our display results. So you can choose to display the results as they come in instantly as people respond, or reveal after I click. If you want participants to be able to submit their votes and then you click and display them all at once, that's a great option for you. Or you can keep them private. And this is generally if you don't want everybody to see the results, maybe it's a little bit sensitive, you can choose the keep responses private. I'm going to go with reveal after I click. And then down here you'll see we have the display responses counter. This will show you how many people have voted in your poll. Great, so let's choose those. And we're on our way to our first poll. Now choose this plus button again to go back in and we'll create our next poll which is our very popular multiple choice poll. Now this poll is great for crowd warming the audience or just gathering data about your audience such as let's go with which technology are you most excited about? So you can enter in your question there and then below you'll see with this specific poll, you can allow your participants to select more than one option, multiple options. And down here you can enter in your answer options. So let's go with driverless cars. Um, artificial intelligence, also known as AI. Virtual reality, also known as VR. Wearables. And last but certainly not least, drones. Again, down here you can see the different options to apply to your polls. So let's go ahead and give this a nice dark plum look. And I'm going to just leave it as is as far as the rest goes. Create. Great. So now we have our thumbs up, thumbs down, and our multiple choice. So let's move on. Now we're up to our scale poll. This poll is great when you want to get feedback about maybe the, uh, the conference that you've just run. So for example, I'm going to ask, what did you think about the conference? So down here with the answer options, you can do from you know, um, needs work, if you want them to be completely blatantly honest, to perfect. Everything went off without a hitch. Five stars is absolute perfection. 
So you can pose this question just like this, the option to just add the five stars, or you can add ca categories. So maybe I want to know exactly, you know, about the venue. And then I want to know how they would rate the speakers. So let's add those, those options there. And then with this one, I want to keep the responses private because it's sensitive information and I don't want the organizers to feel offended. And I'm also going to display the responses counter since I'm keeping the responses private. And that blue works for me. Great. Now on to the next poll. So the next poll is our rank poll. This is great when you want your attendees to put items in order from most favorite to least favorite. So for example, Zedings is an Australian company. So I'm going to have you rank the following Aussie actors. And the first item being your most favorite and the last being your least favorite. All right, great, so I've added my question there and then here are the different answer options. So Nicole Kidman, no brainer, she's a classic. Hugh Jackman, I mean, he's pretty awesome. Wolverine, am I right? Naomi Watts, she is awesome. And last but definitely not least, in my opinion, Hemsworth. Everybody loves the Hemsworth brothers. And I love this pink color, and I want to see them instantly as the responses are submitted. So let's just go ahead and create it as it. Actually, let's put a, a, a counter there so we know how many people. Create that poll. And now we're on to the last but certainly not least, and actually my personal favorite, our text poll. So this is great when you want your participants to submit a quick response. So for example, what are you hoping to get out of today's session? And hopefully they'll, your participants will have something quick that they can just throw up on the screen. So instantly as people respond, and let's go ahead and you know maybe change this to a deep red. Um, let's change that up just a little bit more. Go a little more burgundy. There you go. Great, so I'll create that poll. So now we have our five different types of polls. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the attendee point of view. So when you present, you wanna choose the slide that you would like to start on. Choose this present button at the top. And this is your presentation link right here. Anytime you want your attendees to get connected, you just have them go to your specific unique link. And then I'm gonna start presenting. What you would generally do when you start presenting, you would go to full screen mode. But since I want to show you what it looks like from the attendees point of view, I'm going to minimize my screen and then show you what it looks like over here from a mobile device. So you want them to choose Safari, then type in your URL, seedings.com forward slash Chelsea, and then once there, they'll automatically be pulled into your presentation. It's just loading and three, two, one. Awesome. So they'll see the same slide that you're presenting. Now the next slide is a poll. So let's go ahead and, and vote. So I don't think driverless cars are going to be the only, the only vehicles on the road in 10 years time. No way. We're not quite there yet. So this one, we did the reveal after click. So I'm going to submit. But you'll see that it'll say one response, but we haven't shown the results yet. Now, once I click, you'll see it automatically 100% on the main screen. Great. Now let's move on to the next question. Which technology are you most excited about? This one, remember, we added multiple, the ability for participants to choose multiple options. So I'm going to go with 
artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and drones. And submit. You'll see it instantly showed up on the main screen on the left hand side. It's, it's very seamless and very quick. Now let's move on to our next poll which was the star rating. Great, so what did you think about the conference? I, I loved the venue and you know what? The speakers were amazing. You can see on the left hand side I also have the responses counter once again. So submit the results. And remember, with this one, we chose to not display the results because we did not want to hurt anybody's feelings about their planning skills. So on the main screen, nothing will display, but from your device, you'll see how you voted on that. But this, dis this responses counter will show you, you know, how many people have voted. Great, so now we're on to our ranking of the Aussie actors. I'm going to move Liam Hemsworth up to the very top. I'm going to keep Nicole Kidman where she is. And personally, I'm a big fan of Naomi Watts, so I'm actually going to move oh, I'm going to move her to number 3. Great. On the left-hand side, again, nothing is moved, but when I click submit, you'll see it automatically reorder. And last but not least, we have our free text poll. So let's say I'm looking to get inspiration for my daily, my daily work. Great. So what happens with this one is as you submit, it'll display that on the screen. And as the next, it'll, as two more come in, it'll display three at a time. Now, when more than three come in, it'll fly out the old ones and fly in new and continue to filter through them. So now we've gone over all of the different polling types. I've shown you what it looks like from the attendee point of view and refer back to our Zedings Academy for any additional questions. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you guys next time.